Anyway, I'm, I'm pretty good about not being a sociopath and using help videos to find my way out of computer problems, you know, for the past 10 years. And then, and then I come up with something and there's nothing on the internet and then I sit and do nothing. No, I don't do that. So, here you go. This is a very nasty one. It's called Campaign Notifier. Or it can say Lodja Campaign Notifier. It's a malicious Google Chrome extension which can hijack your, your search engine, make pop-up ads. Things will run slow. I mean really slow. Uh, okay, now I went three levels deep reading about the lifestyle of that Dayton shooter. And I noticed when I clicked on one of the, the links, it seemed almost like a foreign site. And sure enough, everything started running bad and running real slow. Any, anything you click on that you want to do, it hangs in the spinning wheel is for 20 seconds before it opens. Uh, and then I went to reboot the computer to try to fix it and clean things up, and it wouldn't shut off. My computer wouldn't shut off. Okay, and so it... Uh, it said trying to shut down, waiting for program to close, and this is what it showed. Okay, now this is this is what you're going to get. If you wait long enough, this will come up. Uh, first, first it will say that Logic Campaign Notifier is not responding. I I forget which was first, but if you hit cancel, you know it gives you the option to hit cancel to shut the program down. And so you hit cancel and you wait a long time. It took like 10 minutes. And finally the desktop came back on. And I think this is what came up. Lodja campaign notifier is not responding. Close the program. Uh, does nothing. But then off over to the side, you can see the little window for it. And then over here, off onto the desktop, you can click on the X, and eventually I got it to close. Okay, now it's very nasty. I read about it, and it says it's very hard to get rid of. <clears throat> okay, so here's, here's what I did, and it seemed to work for me. Uh, that I took the advice of that, uh, actually it was this, this one, this one here. I took their advice, and... Uh, opened up Chrome and then re just reset the settings. Okay, so don't try to pay attention to each click like you have to see it. You know that you don't. You know what you're doing. You'll be able to do it. Okay, now up in the upper right for Chrome. Op open up Chrome and then up in the upper right click on the three little dots and then down below it says settings. Click on settings and then now off over to the left uh, it says advanced. Then click on advanced. Uh, and uh, and then when you click on advanced, it automatically, this main window automatically comes up. And so scroll all the way down. It's hidden down at the bottom. And click on restore settings to their original defaults. And... Uh, uh, clean up computer. I think I, uh, I, oh, I did both. First I clicked on restore settings and it takes a long time. You're walking around for like 20 minutes to a spinning wheel while it resets everything. And then I clicked clean up computer. And sure enough it said no malware detected. So the clean up computer, if you see I'll click on it and it says Chrome can find harmful, harmful software on your computer and remove it. So you click find, and after you've done the other thing, you've reset everything, and then it goes through, and it said, "Okay, we didn't, uh, we we didn't find any malware." Now, and then I rebooted the computer, and the computer booted up perfect. It shut down perfect, and it booted up perfect, which I haven't had happen in a long time. Uh, so, so there you go. Now, is is it somehow going to come back? Well, I I don't know, but this worked good for me. This worked good for me. I, I don't see any problems and everything is is back to working at top speed, you know, like it was. So it apparently is uh, a good fix. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to do multiple takes. It, it takes too long and if I kept doing that to make everything perfect, I wouldn't, uh, these videos wouldn't get done.